I'm Laura Smith. I have been a member of VC2 now for over five years. And um, I am also a volunteer on the production team. Back in uh, the end of March, uh, my doctor let me know that my gallbladder was no longer working properly. And so it needed to be removed. So um, of course, whenever uh, I first got sick, I said, oh God, why me? <laughs> because I'm very busy. Um, I, you know, I'm married and like most people, I have a full-time job and I have three children and I, I, I can't be down, God. This, I can't be like this. You know, I, I'm blowing and going seven days a week. And God said, this is your resting time. And this is your time to get back into my word. And so, you know, like most Christians, I mean, we go about our, our busy daily lives and we're not as, you know, we, we step away maybe from the, some of the things that we shouldn't step away from. And so I got back and um, got back in the Word. I started doing more plans on my Bible app, um, you know, to, about healing. And I also have a friend that's going through cancer right now. And so not only did it help me, but it's helped her as well. And to just to dive deeper and to get closer to Christ and to talk to him more and knowing that I was going to be okay, that he's right there with me no matter what. So on April the 2nd, um, they scheduled surgery for it to be um, removed. I, I had peace going in. Um, at 33, I've never had any surgeries in my life. And so I had a peace about it that morning. And so I knew everything was gonna be okay. After that Sunday night, whenever, you know, I got, Sunday I got prayed for, I knew everything was gonna be fine. And so I went in with peace, I came out with peace. And when he told me that, I just said, praise God. Um, after my surgery, five days later, um, I had complications from my anesthesia. And, um, I was hospitalized for three days. Uh, I did not know, uh, during, during that time, they ran a lot of tests on me um, for those three days. Um, my doctor came in and even mentioned the C word. And uh, I wouldn't have any of it. <laughs> I, I did not agree with that. I said, no, whatever test you, you read, that was wrong. And um, I have three children and a husband and I'm 33 years old <laughs> and I do not have cancer. It's always scary when a doctor comes in um, and, and gives you that and, and tells you that, you know, um, that there's a possibility you have that. But I just knew, I, I mean, I have faith um, and I've always had faith because I know that I have something so much bigger to offer and so much bigger on this earth. And um, I knew that I didn't have cancer. They uh, told me that I had to have a colonoscopy done. So I had one done Tuesday. And the doctor, after I woke up, came in and told me that um, nothing, I didn't find anything, nothing. And I knew that they wouldn't because we prayed about it. And I had so many people praying for me. And I also went down and got prayed for the Sunday before I had my colonoscopy because I knew that there was going to be nothing there. They weren't going to find anything because uh, by his stripes I'm healed. And everything always works out how, how God plans it. And, you know, your life is in God's hands and um, your God's plan for your life always works always is great. It's always wonderful, no matter whether or not you get sick or not. <laughs> but um, his plan also is to heal us because he is our healer. And as long as we keep trusting in him and um, keep believing that that's exactly what it is, you have to believe. You have to believe God's word and you have to believe what he tells you and what he says. And He said what he says he's going to do, he's going to do. And just God told me to go ahead and start focusing more on my health and to um, start getting healthier, eat healthier, um, you know, exercise more and to to really spend more time with him, but also to spend more time with myself and to remember that um, I am a person, not just a mother and um, not just a wife and that you have to take care of your full body, um, your mind as well.